Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions, Quarantine Edition. Uh, this is not in its an original box because I wasn't planning on doing a review of it initially, but now that everyone is stuck at home, it's important that you actually get exercise and be physical in some fashion. So here we have the TRX Suspension Trainer. Let's uh, take a look at this, see how it works, what you might, uh, what you might need to look out for and uh, other considerations with the TRX Suspension Trainer. Yeah, see how it goes. Here we are in the unfortunate lighting of my kitchen. The purpose of which you will see very shortly. So inside of the bag for the TRX suspension thing, we have first up a little pamphlet to show you all of the different exercises that you can do. All pretty straightforward things. Standard movements, pushing, pulling, plank, rotation, hinge, lunge, and squat. And it's got uh, instructions on how everything is used and pictures of a workout that you can do. Now, inside the bag itself, basically it is just a bag. And here we have your handles, which have some loops on there for exercises that you can put your feet through. Uh, length adjustment, the excess for the straps, where it all comes together, and here is how you actually set it up on something. If you are in a basement and can actually drill a bolt through something to use, you can clip this onto a bolt in the ceiling, which would probably be, be a preferred way of doing things. But otherwise, for people like me, who live in an apartment or condo, you have this, which has a little loop on the end. Put that on there. It extends it a little bit, but you can put this little pad, kind of soft. You can put this over a door. So that's it. Close it in the top of the door and you're good to go. But now the reason why this is set up in the kitchen is you need a good eight to 10 feet in front of you in order to actually have room to do all of these movements. The only place that I have like that in my apartment is in the kitchen. The front door has a closet in front of it. The closet's at an angle, all sorts of complications. This is the only place that I can actually use it. So I exercise in the kitchen. Something else worth noting that I have recently found is that you need to make sure that your door is actually pretty sound in there, in the, in the frame, because I'm going to show you what happens when you are actually using this. So I'm going to put my full body weight on these uh, straps. On the right hand side of your screen, you should be able to see it's actually pulling away. And when you are using it, you can see that the door will flex and creak. So if you can uh, use a more stable door than a uh, flimsy interior door, that might be for the best. When it comes to getting physical activity, pretty much anything is gonna be better than nothing. There are a lot of body weight exercises that you can do, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, things like that. But if you find that you get bored with doing these things, or you need to just shake things up after a while, Something like the TRX suspension system can definitely help. Uh, I've been using this for several weeks now. I've definitely noticed a difference in myself. Of course, I was going from a level of basically going for walks every now and then and not doing much of anything else. So this is definitely a good minor investment that you can make. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You can do a wide variety of exercises with it. And I must say, it seems to be made from very solid materials. Uh, the nylon straps have uh, no signs of any wear whatsoever. All of the hardware that's on here for adjusting the lengths of the straps are very solid. Um, it actually does take some effort to uh, change the length of the straps. So I have no doubt that these 
uh, clamps are going to last for quite a while. The handles are padded, they're comfortable. So overall, I would say that this is a great way to go if you need to shake things up a little bit and do a little bit more exercise while you're inside and social distancing. So look into something like this if it is at all interesting to you. Do what you can to stay healthy and sane in these times. And uh, yeah, if this is helpful, if you have any questions, like, share, subscribe, leave comments, and I'll get back to you uh, with whatever my thoughts are on whatever your questions happen to be. So thank you very much. I will see you next time.